What's up, I'm Jonah and I am here at Soundwave 2015 here for Maniacs TV with the duo Acoustic Lads, This Wildlife. How are you going? How you doing? Hello. How are you? Doing really well. Cool. So please just tell us a little bit about your Soundwave experience so far. Is this your first time out here in Oz? Uh, we came out here last year in April. This is our first time obviously playing like the festival season over here. Yeah, so tell us the difference, you know, like the weather, the bands, well, what's your vibe? We played a Warp Tour last year in the States and like Warp Tour is pretty damn hot, but this is definitely hotter than most of the Warp Dates. So you guys are from Long Beach area. You grew up with that kind of Long Beach punk rock, pop punk scene. How did that influence your music acoustically? Or well, We actually started off as like a pop punk band. We started off as like a four piece band. He played drums and I just played uh, guitar and sang. And so the band kind of like slowly evolved uh, or devolved into being just like two guys and doing the acoustic thing. There was tons of great like punk in Southern California. Most of it on like Epitaph Records that were signed to. I was going to say, being on Epitaph, there's, yeah. it's a hub for all that kind of stuff. Exactly, yeah. There, there's so many bands coming up in that in that Southern California circuit of punk bands. Has there been any like, you know, people that didn't really want to accept that style difference or? Surprisingly, no. When we changed over to acoustic, like maybe 10 people online were like, all right, we're peacing out. We don't <laughs> listen to you anymore. But, it, but I think it was a good sign that for two years we were a pop punk band and then one day we were like, Put a you know a Facebook post that said we're deciding to go for forward acoustic and like no one complained. So that's great. Now you guys had a new record out uh, pretty recently last year, Clouded. Yep. Uh, it's been a little while since then. Have you guys been working on any new material or thinking about that in the future? We were writing. We just had the last two months off. Um, we just got done with like a, a U.S. tour with Sleeping with Sirens and Pierce the Veil for like five awesome. weeks. So we got home and at the end of like the whole cycle of touring, we had two months off. So. We wrote some new music and actually right when we get back from this, uh, we go into the studio to record three new songs. So when you guys write, is it like you two sit there with an acoustic or do you send files on computers or do you write on electrics or? We usually send files and stuff, yeah. but I just have a hard time focusing when other people are in the room. And for me, like writing lyrics and melodies is like, it's too like personal and like exposing, you know, like I, I, I have to go over ideas in my head like, a hundred times before I'm even like confident enough to show just Anthony and like right with our band there's only two people so it's like that that's the gatekeeper is Anthony like if he doesn't like it it kind of doesn't go past that point and when he sends me a riff if I don't like it it doesn't go past that point yeah. thank you so much for joining us guys <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, thanks for answering all the questions for the maniacs <laughs> out there and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your sound wave Kevin and Anthony from this wild life cheers thank you Whoa. Said that you were sorry far away, but always come back for me.